average for hip fractures. Nearly 70 to 75,000 cases of hip fractures occur in UK every year. Most of the fractures are fixed using dynamic hip screw, canal hip screws, or intermediary hip screws. The patient is positioned on a fracture table for this. The fractured leg is in the foot plate with the pretender post between the legs and the non-fractured leg on the Lloyd Davis, which is an uncomfortable position for most patients. Sometimes we use double foot plate uh, technique where the patients uh, actually are in double foot plate and these are more comfortable. These are elderly patients and have multiple comorbidities. It's important to rule out conditions like aortic stenosis and sclerosis, which may communicate use of spinal anesthesia. Or patient might be on oral uh, anticoagulants, uh, which can preclude the use of regional anesthesia technique. The incision in this case is in the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh division. In the dynamic hip screw, we have a hip screw fixing the fracture and a plate on the lateral side of the femur. A canal hip screw has multiple screws fixing the fracture site, so there's no plate in that. IMHS has a big nail going through the femur itself, and then the, there's a screw uh, going through the uh, nail itself fixing the fracture. The incision here is much higher up. Now we know that the uh, nerves which supply uh, the area which is involved in the surgery uh, consist of two nerves, uh, that is the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh and the femoral nerve, both of which come from the lumbar plexus. Uh, femoral nerve from L2, L3, L4, lateral cutaneous from L2 and L3. Uh, this is the area which is supplied by the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. And the other nerve, which is the femoral nerve, is the main nerve uh, which need to be blocked for this condition. Sometimes lateral cutaneous comes from the femoral nerve itself. Uh, in that case, we don't actually have to uh, you know, block it separately. Lateral cutaneous comes out uh, from the lateral side of the psoas, and so does the femoral nerve. Both the nerves come out below the inguinal ligament. Femoral nerve flying below the fascia iliaca, and lateral cutaneous above the fascia iliaca. So uh, these nerves can be blocked using facial iliaca block uh, with large volumes and uh, that's what facial iliaca block is. Here what I'm going to describe is, is uh, a nerve block uh, similar to facial iliaca uh, where we use uh, much lower volumes. And so uh, let's uh, see how this uh, nerve block is done uh, using ultrasound technique. So for this patient, patient lying supine, uh, we use 20 to 30 ml of local anesthetic for DHS or CHS, 40 to 50 ml for IMHS hemiarthroplasty, 0.25 to 0.5% of liver bifigane, which is limited to 2 ml per kg body weight. So the probe is placed uh, below the inguinal ligament, important to mark the uh, anticipilic spine and pubic tubercle, draw a line over it. Uh, place the probe and the needle comes from the lateral side near to the uh, anterior leg spine. Here we see the needle that actually pierces the fascia lata and we are depositing local anesthetic under the fascia lata and this will block the lateral cutaneous nerve. Then we increase the angle from the same point and then pierce the fascia iliaca and deposit local anesthetic under the fascia iliaca and you can actually see the local anesthetic seeping to the femoral nerve which lies on the side. So you don't actually have to go and uh, deposit a local anesthetic to the femoral nerve. So this is a good technique uh, for uh, the uh, uh, new learners, uh, people who are afraid of uh, you know, causing uh, nerve injuries or injury or uh, causing intra-arterial uh, punctures. Uh, and we can use a lesser volume uh, if we want to use uh, local anesthesia for other blocks. Uh, this technique uh, can be used so you can divide uh, the local anesthetic for other blocks as well. Um, you can use uh, just facial iliac block with larger volumes if you don't, or you're not limited by the local anesthetic volume. Or you can use this technique uh, where you can use uh, lesser volume of local anesthesia under the facial lata and facial iliaca.